Hello all, it's just Paul again. I've got a new project on the table here today I thought I'd just run through. This is more just a set of skills to, um, in order to prepare a, something that you're working on for full cosmetic restoration. I'll just turn it around and show you. Alright, what we have here is a CB radio. It's a President Jackson um, multi-mode, multi-band radio. This is one of my keepers, uh, but it needs a bit of work. And so this, this series is going to demonstrate um, very, various different things that need to be done to the radio. All right, so I'll just zoom back here. What we have here is uh, my preparation for what we need in order to do. So task number one is the obviously the removal of the faceplate from the radio. Um, we'll do that shortly. Task number two is to remove the this decal, the ASC squelch control, and I'm actually going to move it to the top of the cover here, put it on here. And there's, we'll break it down into the fascia first. So this fascia here, um, I've already attempted cleaning whilst it's on the radio, but there is quite there's quite a bit of a scratch that runs down the screen here. The goal is to remove this perspex panel, and with um, various products we're going to use in order to get rid of that scratch and bring this panel back to OEM uh, standard. Uh, what we need for that, we may not need all of these th these items, but we have them here prepared anyway. Um, we have the um, sanding blocks up to 1200 grit. I have um, wet and dry paper to 3000 grit. And I have my aluminium blocks which I use, which I wrap the paper in, in order to get a perfectly flat surface. Um, obviously, whenever you're working on these uh, bits of plastic, they've got sharp edges you don't want to round those edges over. Uh, they become highly noticeable once you do so. So the goal is to um, repair this and bring it back to normal. Uh, I'm lucky on the Jacksons, all of the print is on behind. If the print was in the front, you would need to tape the print up in order not to remove the, the print. Uh, then it comes time to restoration of the bezel. There's, there's lots of little nicks, uh, scratches, um, divots along the front. Um, we're going to sand all of those out and then spray in 1500 grey. That's the Mr. Finishing product. Um, this is a really good product. I've talked about it before. You spray this onto a prepared surface and it gives you a smooth surface to the equivalent of 1500 grit. So it's a, it's a, um, a metal primer, uh, sorry, a plastic primer, um, but also a, uh, um, a filler as well. So there's no need to sand after you've used this product. So then what we're going to do is the goal is to spray the whole front panel in a SMS acrylic um, product which is called camo black which is a pure black in a flat and then after we've put the decal on we're go I'm going to spray it in a flat clear so around about three months ago or two months ago I ordered this faceplate from uh, CB faceplates um, and they're just on on um, Facebook faceplates, faceplate decals, and they're in, located in the UK. Great, great little business, um, and many people rave about their their faceplates. So one of the things that I wanted to change here, the previous owner actually put variable power into this radio on the clarifier on the coarse side, and what I've done is I've had the decal made up at removing the course and adding power so you then just have uh, obviously the fine tune on the clarifier and then the course one is power all right um, that's the process um, the polishing um, uh, that I use is the purple metal polish 
If I need to gouge, take out scratches, which will probably be the case with this, I use the Autosol Aluminium. You can also use Brasso. The only reason I don't like using Brasso is sometimes the product um, accumulates into little, little um, oh, what are they, like sand grit, and it actually damages. So you've just got to watch that as the product gets dry whilst you're polishing. And you need a, a new microfiber, not one that's been used, so that there's no contaminants in it, which can also damage the work that you're doing. All right, um, this video is going to take, going to be um, out across probably uh, a handful of videos in order to show you what I'm doing. But today, the first task is uh, um, moving the decal onto the back onto the radio, and I'll prepare the radio with, radio with IPA, and then start work in this area here and dismantling the radio down to the faceplate. Thank you. Okay, I've removed the decal and I've put it onto another double-sided bit of tape. As you can see, sticky side. Okay. Came off really easily after heating up um, the surface panel with the hairdryer on low speed with heat. Just need to be very careful that um, you don't warp the plastics. These things are um, very easily warped. Now, why are we painting the, the bezel? Well, originally the bezel was was matte black, and um, it's over the years it's been polished off because of marks and that sort of thing. So um, I, I looked at it and I thought, does it? What, what do we need to do here? And obviously we have a bit of time, so my goal is to take this back to factory and have a matte black finish. All right, we'll uh, cut the sides down on that transfer and then reapply it to the case. Okay, that's fitted and pushed down onto the surface. I trimmed off the the edges where they were, there was a bit of damage or fraying there and squared them up. All right, so that side of it is, is done. So now we'll undo the radio and remove the faceplate. Okay, this is pretty straightforward, but basically you remove all of the case screws, both sides. This is underneath. No need to unsolder the speaker. Um, there's a screw there, one there. Same on the other side. I've removed all of the controls. The face should just pull off, just like that. All right. So we have the face off. All right. So we should be able to see that gouge. There it is there, right across the middle of the display. And as you can see, you, under these lights, you can now see the difference in the faceplate. It really does stick out. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is remove that perspex. What's involved here is gently pushing on the display either side and loosening the adhesive. Um, I will heat that up just a tad with the with the hairdryer. All right. Oh, fingers in the way. <laughs> all right. So what you do is after you've, whilst you've still got it all very gentle, you just keep a slight amount of pressure on it, and the display will come off. All right. So I've got that. All right. I'll just put that there for a second. Uh, you notice all this adhesive in there. I'm going to need to remove that. And I'm just going to use, uh, as I did with the other transfer, double-sided mounting tape, which is very, very thin. Um, and you just cut it, trim it, and then drop the display back in. That's what I use on all the radios. All right, so we're going to begin the sanding process. Okay, I've taken my medium bar, my sanding bar, and I've wrapped the... I'm starting with 1200 grit tightly around the, the bar and I'm just going to dip it in a tiny bit of water and we're going to start sanding. Right, so how I do it is I apply um, pressure evenly over the, the whole display and I just move the bar backwards and forwards and just making note on the where the scratch is, how much progress that I'm having. 
This may take about five minutes. Okay, that's all done. The scratch is removed. The surface, you can see, is just a tiny bit dull. There aren't any scratches on there at all. We've taken that to 3000 grit. I actually switched across from my small bar to the, the modelling bars. So I did the final at, what was it, 1200 and then went to my my rocker bar which I used to work on and that has 3000 on it. Alright, now it's just um, polishing. So I'll just put down a bit of... Uh, I've got some cardboard here, yep. Alright, so basically we'll use, we need a flat surface, there we go. Alright, and we're just going to work on that in motions going backwards and forwards like that. Okay, it took a bit longer than expected. Every one of these radios are different. However, we can see that um, it's actually a very good finish now. Um, the scratch was a lot deeper than I thought. Okay, but the scratch is all gone. And that's now ready to fit back into the radio. All right, now it's time to do the bezel. You can see some of the marks on there. The goal is to get that all nice and smooth. And where there's gouges on the leading edges, just round them over just very, very slightly. And then when, we, when we're finished, you won't be able to pick it. All right. Uh, Bit of persistence it takes longer than what it actually sometimes it takes longer than what's to be expected but this is a, actually a pretty good um, polyethylene on this and it sands up very very fine so I've got nearly all the scratches out of it there's a couple of deep ones which I'm not going to attend to I've made all of the edges nice and sharp the way they were from factory with a t tiny rounded over edge so that is now pri that's now ready for primer and that will be in another video. Remember comment, like and subscribe. I would appreciate that. Thanks um, guys. And we will continue the cosmetic restoration of this President Jackson. Thank you.